Welcome back to the Abandoned Diner project here for Blender Challenge. And this is what I've got so far. All right, this is how it looks in Blender. And you can see the statistics right here. So we're not doing too bad. I'm going to shut that off. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple other small little props for this for this scene. And uh, I'm going to create a propane tank and a and an oil barrel okay so and i'm just going to model them in this one and we'll texture them in the next one and i will talk about the textures of this uh down the road as well as we get to texturing those so let's just do this let's say this is the side view actually so let's come in here and let's do a cylinder and let's make this 22 it's not really low poly or anything i'm just going to slide that down and up and just get the approximate size that I want and then I can change I can change the size in a little bit as well and I'll just go back into here okay so what I want to do is I want to select the top and the bottom for this it's going to be very easy control B pull it's already looking like a propane tank one two three click there's my propane tank already coming along. Okay, now I'm going to say, let's come from here to here. Let me do that. Let's pull that down like that. Let's get rid of that stuff. Leave it like that for the moment. And I'm going to come into here. I'm going to press I to inset. I'm going to pull in like that. Maybe, uh, yeah, it's okay. Extrude up like this. And then I'd inset. I'm going to come up one more time like that. I'd inset. E to extrude and pull down, and I'm going to get rid of that face. We're never going to really see in there, and it'll be dark. Now we're going to shift alt and click these edges to bevel. Control B and pull, and I'm going to have three. I'm also going to bevel here and here. Control B, pull, and let's come down to the bottom here. Let's, uh, let's actually, let's E and S. Let's do the same thing in case I have it slightly sitting on the side let's see if i would want to pull that up let's do that that's that's okay control b pull with three and this one with three let's have a look in shade smoothing and that's how it looks let's make sure it didn't flip it Okay, that's all right. And then we're going to do the other part now. What I'm gonna do is come in here. In edge selection, I'm gonna select maybe here, and then come down to here and go out to there. So it's, I think that's even, doesn't even really matter. Let's take that and shift D to duplicate, pull it up, P to break it out. Let's take this. Make it a bit higher and extrude down like that. That should be okay. And I'm going to put three there like that. And then we will look from the front and I will uh, let's press three for face selection. And I'm gonna grab, uh, let's see, those three, those three. I can come one more probably one more I'll just do it like this I'll do two holes there like that so I'm going to press I to inset I will put a subdivision on this one and X faces get rid of that and before I do anything I'm going to put um, just just two more in there and let's take this and let's E and alt S and push or pull I think I'm going to push to give that a bit of thickness like that and then I will, I'm going to want to bevel uh, in here. Shift Alt and click that edge and that one. And this one and this one. 
and we'll bevel this that'll give it some support control B and pull and I've got there's two three and I'll put a control one we'll try control one to have that and then I'm also going to come in here and put an edge loop here and here and we'll get rid of the ones on the bottom I just want to look at the size of that I think I'm going to come in here and grab all of this and pull it up like that. And then I'm going to box select down here, X faces, we'll get rid of those. And that is pretty much our propane tank. I'm not going to do the nozzle. Uh, we'll just leave it like that. So let's grab those and, and let's call that uh, propane tank. Okay, so take this and let's just have it. All right, there's one more thing that we need to do on here and that's, I'm gonna drop an edge loop there and control B and pull with two. Come out about like that. We'll go E and Alt S and push to push it out a little bit drop another edge loop right there in the middle and then take this one and this one and I'm going to scale shift Z just to pull it in a little bit and we'll need an edge loop coming up and an edge loop coming down and that's a propane tank but I think I will take the whole thing and, and just I'm just going to make it smaller there we go and uh, at that point Let's take this and move it down so it's sort of on the ground. Uh, let's do an oil drum or tank or whatever. Let's bring in another cylinder. I'll, I'll stick with 22. I'll scale that in the Z. And we'll make it a little bit bigger, I guess. Than that. Let's see. Let's start. Let's, uh, let's select there. And let's uh, do the following. Ian. No, I don't want to do that. Let's uh, select that face and that face and press E and scale shift Z, pull out a little bit. And then E and SZ, come up like that. Let's press I to inset. Okay, E and SZ and we're gonna pull in a little bit. And I'm also going to scale. I'm going to switch to individual origins, and I'm going to scale to angle it in just a little bit like that. And I'll go back to median point. All right, let's put a couple of uh, supports like this. Let's just go one, two. And wherever they drop, I think, is probably just fine. So now with that done, let's control B, pull for two. We'll go to about like that let's go E and Alt S and push to bring them out a little ways drop an edge loop here and here and let's do the same thing we did select those and those and we're going to scale shift Z not in the Z and push I guess to bring them in just to have that that is one way of doing it anyhow now, just on for the top one, I think I'm going to extrude down a little bit like that. And we'll leave the bottom one as it is. And we we'll want to have some holes. We might as well use that. Look down from the top. Shift D, S to scale. Make that one like that. We'll just move it to the sort of like the front of it. And I'm going to, I'll break it out for the moment. Okay, and I'm going to extrude up, and I'm going to extrude in or and down. And I think I'm going to get rid of that face, so it just becomes that. Let me just uh, look at this. Uh, maybe I'll get rid of that bottom face as well. Yeah, lost some stuff there. Okay. I'm going to take this and this, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm going to take that and extrude down. 
and I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to bevel these edges here, control B, and make it three. And let's just focus on that for the moment and we'll delete that face. And we'll take that and push that down. I could definitely do this in, in texture, really. I'm gonna shift D to duplicate. I'm gonna pull it back here and I'm going to scale it smaller and just push it down and have it like that. I'm going to take that and I'm going to join. I'm going to join that. Now let's shade smooth and see where we're at. What I need to do is select here and press I to inset to fix that up, and then we'll just throw a couple more edge loops in here to tame the shading and the stretching. There we go. And I guess in case this bottom. Okay, shows. Really didn't need to do this in geometry, but I did. I had to inset. This one I would probably. The more I think of it, I think I'm going to have this one closed. So I'm going to select and control plus a few times up to the bevel, X faces, and just close that off there. So it looks like that. So that's one piece there. And I don't really need to place these yet. We just want to have them. So let's see if I take off the shadow, take off the cavity, shader, how it looks, or maybe we look with another, another view. All right, so there are two more props now for the scene. And we'll come to texture those in a bit. I have a couple more props to do and uh, we will be getting close to the end of this might want to change the i might change the diameter of that a little bit make it a bit more narrow but i'm not sure and then we'll have a couple tilted or whatever okay so i'm going to leave it at that i will be back again very soon thanks for watching hope you're enjoying the series and hope you are uh, considering joining the Blender Challenge restaurant, or at least checking out the Zero Bio Discord and seeing what people are doing. When it's all done, of course, I will do a render review and you will get to see what everybody made. All right, take care and see you again soon.